Yeah. That one moment could be the one that changes the world. And if nothing else, it changes theirs. And then we are doing God's work. I had a guy there come up to me and he goes, I think I had my turning point right now with you. And I was like, really? He's like, I think it's my I'm like, you turned. You can't turn yeah. around again. Keep going. I was like, <laughs> you just turned. Yep. You know you don't yep. think it. Just know you turned. Own it. Um, you know, it's so true what you say about like that. Like, if you really dissect it, I mean, if you want to get like a little, I mean, if we, we can, we have these conversations anyways, but so really any kind of reaction that anyone's even getting to say, it's just you and I, and we're having a conversation and then you say something that I don't really like. And then I start raising my voice. I'm not really raising my voice at you. I'm raising my voice from childhood stuff that I didn't like. It really has nothing to do about you. And so like the great gift is normally I can be like, that's not about me. He's, he's doing that or she's acting out has another, I don't even know them. That's not about me, but it's how I react. And it's like, but then if it's someone closer, like, you know, in your uh, relationship, like my boyfriend, like we start fighting. It's not about me. It's not about him. This is nothing to do with us. But how do we not take that personal? So how do you, and you go underneath and you start uncovering, discovering, and discarding. And it's all childhood. Mm -hmm. It's all that, like, we weren't heard. We were in pain. I didn't like, you know. That's why I see a lot of k kids, like, acting out because they want, you know, their cigarette yeah. or this and that. It's like because you were never heard. Well, and it's also, I mean, we don't have time to go into it. Yeah. But there's a number of ways to approach that and growing up that part of you. Because really, it's a part of you that made a decision about life based on resources that you had at that time. So, if, you know, between three and five, you made certain decisions about life just because something happened, you had the resources, the experience, the wisdom of a three to five year old, you made a decision about life, what life meant in that context, based all your decisions after that on that, and then someone brings up a point over here that violates that whole structure that survived, that worked for you, that, that was successful, that was appropriate for a three-year-old or a five-year-old, but we still run the same pattern because it's ingrained because we built it on that foundation. Preach. Seriously. Was, preach, preach, preach. It's so, so good. It's so good. It's so true. And then they didn't get the coping skills. Well, they, they did. They just were well, that, inappropriate. Well, that was the coping skill. Yeah, yeah, that was the inappropriate coping skill. They, and then... And then they have, if they have the gene, and then exposed, and then they're like, ugh. And so then they're hooked, and then they're committing crimes. Then they're the bad people because they're an addict. No, they're, right. they're not addicts. They're human beings. They're human beings. People. You know, we've got to break that. St I mean, we are breaking that stigma. Mm -hmm. At this right moment, we're breaking that stigma. I, I just always go, like, ignorance is bliss. Like, that's all they know. Like, that's all no, they know. No, ignorance is pain. Ignorance is, yeah, it is. Ignorance it's only is. temporary bliss. Ignorance is is the I agree. the same thing as you know getting high. So in the moment, you're ignorant of all the other stuff. You could you could ignore all the stressors, but then it's like swiping an emotional credit card. Then it comes back, and you're no longer ignorant. Now you have a new level of of uh, gnosis of knowledge that like oh no, now I've just made a worse situation because of my ignorant time. Mm -hmm. And the more we ignore things, you know, it's like, it, well, I'll give you a great example. I'm sure you know people who maybe have a, a situation and they ignore it. Mm -hmm. and they pretend it didn't happen. And what does it do? Like a tumor, it grows and it grows. And the more you ignore it. The bigger it gets. Yeah, so all yeah. of a sudden you turn around and you go, oh my gosh, look at all this debt I've got. Yeah. This emotional and spiritual debt that you have to repay. But the cool thing about recovery, and this is recovery from anything, mm -hmm. is that it's one of the few areas, like personal development, let's just call it that, that's what it is. It's personal and spiritual growth is that when you do the work, you're actually not only investing in yourself, you're repaying that mm. old debt at the same time. So true. And it's such a, a I mean, that investment is, is priceless. And every time you speak, you're investing in yourself as you invest in others. Mm -hmm. And you're giving back that gift because you're also, I mean, it, it transcends because you're giving people permission to celebrate their journey. And, and that's, right. that's why it's so important that we all do share our story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Like, oh, and the welcome. thing that's important, too, is that there should be, I no longer look at the things that happened or I experienced as shame. There should be no they're shame. Gifts. Yeah, they're gifts. They are gifts, you know.